Hello and good Thursday to you. This is your Simmons check and Simmons package update as of today, July 16th, 2020. Hope you are all doing well out there. Well, to start off with the thing is we all know about the Heroes Act, which would provide every American with a second one-time payment of $1,200. And although, wow, that would really help us out a lot for about a week. We all know that Nancy Pelosi was extremely happy about that idea because we all know it would buy her two pints of her favorite ice cream. And other political news, we also know about Laurel and Hardy, otherwise known as Mitch McConnell and Steve Mnuchin. They say they have been working very, very hard behind closed doors to come up with their version of the next stimulus package. Well, what some viewers may not know is Steve Mnuchin and Mitch McConnell are so cheap that they have to eat ice cream. Well, they choose to eat cereal with a fork to save milk. And we also know Mitch McConnell is so cheap that he'll wave around a popsicle and call air conditioning. I mean, please, Mitch McConnell's out there. He is getting booed out of every room he goes into for even suggesting a $40,000 cap on the next stimulus check, which would limit people from getting it. I mean, as we know, this the the cap of seventy five thousand dollars was still a, pre, a pretty big, a pretty big and yet small cap on it, and it still left out a lot of people. I mean, that seventy five thousand dollar cap for single people, one hundred fifty for married people, gave about a little over two hundred million people a stimulus check. And let's see here. And Steve Mnuchin says that the second stimulus package will be passed at the end of this month on July 31st. Because we all know that after July 31st, they only have seven more days to go before the Senate and the uh, House of Representatives decides to go on vacation. And we've also, also very heard Nancy Pelosi, which is Speaker of the House, say that the Democrats for the House of Representatives will forego or postpone their next re recess or paid vacation, as we have to call it, until they can get the next bill passed. Let's see if this actually happens or not. And for that matter, if they're willing to forego or sus or basically temporarily put their vacation on hold until they pass this bill, will the Senate do the same thing? It's a very good question. Well, now my question to my viewers out there is, is if, if you like the content in my video, would you please hit that like button? And if you wish to see more of my content, can you turn, can you subscribe and please hit the turn notifications on? And if you have any comments or any questions for me, please feel free to make comments in my comment box below and I'll respond to them as fast as possible. <clears throat> Well, we, we all know the next stimulus package has to include hazard pay for the central worker. Well, what we're hoping is, is that it will be better than France's uh, version of stimulus, pack, uh, stimulus pay, which is 200 additional dollars, I think, per month. I'm not sure. Because that is what it's providing to essential workers. And it's an additional 200 bucks, I think, per month. Whereas the original Heroes Act said that all essential workers would get a pay bump of $13 additional to their paycheck retroactive from January 27th to current date of when it became a bill and not an act. And another thing is the um, who's going to provide these parents that actually have to quit their jobs to take care of the child and homeschool their child because as we know, daycares are closing or are closed as well as schools are afraid to open up because they are not properly taken care of to basically have COVID-19 in a sort of a checkmate state, I guess we could call it, where the kids can feel safe to go back to school. And as you also know, a lot of parents are also afraid to send their kids back to school because as we've heard from Donald Trump, he basically said that if the schools do not open, they do not get no funding. We've heard from Mitch McConnell, which I believe said uh, if the schools do not open, they will get penalized. 
Then we heard from Steven Mnuchin, which said that, oh, well, if the schools don't open, they won't get penalized. But for the ones that do open, they will get rewarded. Okay, now, this is all confusing information, I'm sure. I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm sorry if I do. But, okay, we have three Republicans all saying the exact same thing. If you don't open, you don't make money. And if you do open, you get a big old fat bonus as a reward. Well, okay, um, what is that big reward going to do if you open up and your school is not prepared and properly sanitized and cleaned to make sure it's safe for the children and faculty to be inside there? So offering a reward to make it so people become sick from COVID-19 is not a good idea. Penalizing the schools is also not a good idea. And I do know that I believe there's a, a, a thought by Nancy Pelosi out there that's part of the stimulus package that is supposed to be, I think, $480 billion for basically the schools and education so the schools can actually be properly cleansed of the virus so the kids and the faculty be, can, can be safe or feel safe at least until when, so they can return to school. This would also include putting the desks six feet apart, wearing masks, staggered in and out times for classes and lunches, and possible online classes as well on certain days to help the social distancing and COVID-19 from spreading even worse. Then Senator Larry Graham says the next stimulus package is not going to be greater than the previous stimulus package, which was the CARES Act at $2.2 trillion. Well, we know that the Republicans want to hit it. The Senate basically wants to hit the $1.3 trillion mark. The Democrats or the House of Representatives want to hit the $3 million mark. I figure it, at best we might hit a $1.7 trillion mark for an stimulus package, but is going to cut out a lot of stuff. I mean, I do agree. There was a lot of fluff inside the HEROES Act that did not need to be there. The HEROES Act should have basically been for the people, not for businesses. That should have been a separate package altogether. That should have been a part of the economic, pa the, the infrastructure package instead of the package to help the people. The, the package to help the people should have included like essential workers as well as the unemployed, as well as the rent and, and mortgage assistance programs. And then the infrastructure should have been the schools and anything else along those lines. And we also know that Nancy Pelosi wants to give $120 billion towards the restaurant industry, whereas Republicans want to give, I'm not exactly sure how much they really want to be giving, but they want to give a lot of money for infrastructure. You know, building up 5G towers because we all need those damn 5G towers. Woohoo. You know, and, you know, roads, highways, bridges, tunnels, and other crap along those lines. Well, as we all know, infrastructure is not really going to help out a starving person or a person that's just about to lose a house because then the month is coming up pretty fast here. And that's when the PUA or the, en the enhanced unemployment benefits expires. That's when the eviction moratorium expires. So people will be getting evicted from their apartments or or their houses if they can't pay the mortgage as well as a lot of other things so basically at the end of this month if they don't make an extension or at least fix what's going on with this country the um basically what's going to happen is we're going to have about 44 million people without jobs and without homes and I'm not sure about you but I don't want to see that happening because all the people of America are a bunch of wonderful and great people and do not deserve to be suffering because our Congress cannot make their minds up because they'd rather go on paid vacations paid by us. And in economic news, the job the jobs uh, claim came in at 1.3 million claimed last week. Well, okay, give or take about 10,000. And in the COVID news, the world as a whole well, let's just put it this way. We hit highs that we already don't want to be hitting. For instance, I mean, in Japan, they're hitting record highs of COVID-19. In F India, they're also hitting record highs of COVID-19. In Florida, 
they have reported a record high of deaths a death count on Tuesday and I'm not sure if my viewers know about this but in China I'm not going to report about their COVID count because they're the ones who gave it to us in the first place but if you've been paying attention there's also going to be a swine flu pandemic coming from them and they also now have bubonic plague now as we all know it takes one to kill millions so I say we cut them off completely so they don't kill the rest of the world but this is just my opinion you are also welcome to your opinion and like I said if if you like the content in my broadcast please hit that thumbs up button so my content can out can get out to other viewers who would be interested in it and if you wish to have more of my in my content please hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on this way every time I broadcast something new you'll get a copy of it and if you have anything to say please feel free to comment in the comment bar below and I will respond as fast as possible and until then you guys have a magnificent Thursday and a wonderful beginning of Friday until I broadcast again and remember to wear your masks even though the CDC gives confusing information about wearing masks that's the topic for another day but like I said wear your masks to help protect those who cannot or should I say have a compromised immune system or are more susceptible to catching COVID-19 than you are and thank you for joining me in this broadcast have a great evening bye